Protesters on both sides of the abortion debate making their voices heard outside Florida State Supreme Court. On Monday, the justices ruling to uphold one of the nation's strictest abortion laws, giving the green light for the state to ban the procedure after six weeks starting next month. But it was a bit of a split decision. The court also ruling voters will get the chance to decide for themselves in a November referendum that could override the ban putting abortion back on the ballot during what's expected to be a contentious presidential election season. And it's already ramping up. I'm running to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again, so women have a federal guarantee to the right to choose. The Biden campaign releasing this ad just hours after the Florida court issued the ruling. It's called Trust. President Biden claiming Donald Trump would push for a nationwide abortion ban if he's reelected. Part of a $30 million spring ad campaign targeting voters in swing states. The president also sending his HHS secretary Javier Becerra to Florida on Tuesday to highlight the administration's commitment to reproductive health care. While President Biden has worked to expand access to health care, some places are restricting care, taking away rights and freedoms to the care Americans need. Former President Donald Trump hasn't spoken much about abortion on the campaign trail, but said he might support a nationwide ban at 15 weeks. In Miami, Dana Marie McNichol, Fox News.